Octane for Cinema 4D is a GPU-based rendering system, meaning that it uses your machine's graphics cards to handle the bulk of the calculations required for rendering physically accurate photorealistic scenes. To access the settings for your graphics cards within Cinema 4D, you can go to Octane, Octane Settings, and then in the Settings tabs, go to the Devices tab. And you'll see here a list of all the graphics cards that are available on your machine. If for some reason you don't see one of your cards listed here, it's probably because either the card is not supported by Octane, so maybe it's not a CUDA enabled graphics card, or you need to update the drivers. It's always a good idea to keep your drivers for your graphics cards up to date, especially as Octane releases updates to the plugin. You want to make sure that the drivers are always compatible. The only time that Octane might use your CPU for rendering is if you enable out of core. Out of core allows you to set aside some of the CPU memory or some of your RAM for handling texture. So if you have a scene that has a lot of large textures or just a whole bunch of textures that might be requiring extra memory, you can enable out of core and then set these limits accordingly. This will slow down rendering a little bit, but it will also uh, reduce the number of uh, errors you see if you're running out of memory. The best way to avoid needing to use this option, of course, is to be as efficient as possible when you're using textures within an Octane scene. Uh, and that's something that we'll discuss throughout the videos in this course. We also have a video uh, devoted to working with the out of core settings. With regards to the settings in the devices tab, uh, you can set your priority for your graphics cards. So if you enable use priority for one or more of your graphics cards, then you can use this menu to set that priority. So if you're working in Octane and setting up a scene and lighting, etc., and uh, you might be having other applications open that require using your GPU, like Photoshop or something like that, or Substance. In those cases, you might want to set your priority to medium or low. And then if you're rendering, say, a large uh, still image or maybe a batch render animation, you can then set your priority to high. The best place to find information on the hardware required to run Octane for Cinema 4D, of course, is on otoy.com. Uh, and if you go to otoy.com, you can go to support, hardware suggestions, and there's a nice little chart here that shows the supported graphics cards, as well as recommendations on the number of graphics cards required, depending on the type of job that you're doing. And of course, there's even more information on running Octane Bench tests on your machine, as well as uh, information on which graphics cards are recommended.